Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the amazing realm of bizarre news. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule. Now, roll tape! So bizarre news, we start off with a trivia question. I'm next to Ted here from his paper prison. The question, what is another celestial term for a starfish? Multiple choice, inverse alphabetical order. Is that a nebula, meteor, galaxy, comet, or asteroid? Now the prize, the only prize with the correct answer, one pat on the back that you'll have to prize yourself. Heck of a lot better than a slap on the belly with a wet trout. If you want a million dollars, call Meredith Vieira, but please, please do not call us. We do not have any operators to take your calls, and if we did, we still could not afford prizes. Certainly not a million dollars. Take a sip of water and be back momentarily with the correct answer. Okay, I'm calling time, and here are the five choices. What do we call a starfish? Nebula, meteor, galaxy, comet, or asteroid? What's your answer? Comet. No, it's an asteroid. Yeah. How about that? Now, here we happen to have a starfish, and this pertains to officials on Grenada who are upset because a number of tourists are taking live starfish out of the water and hurling them like frisbees for their dogs to chase on the beach, and that traumatizes a poor starfish. And if they don't die from that throwing, they may die because they're left on the beach to rot and dry up and stink up the beach. So they're outlawing that. I say, good idea. Dead starfish like this is okay, but not a live one. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos and of the starfish be with you. Yes. Yes.